international recording legend Denny Zager of Zager Easy Play Guitars and writer of In the Year 2525, the biggest one-hit wonder in world recording history selling over 20 million records. As a lot of you know, uh, and who have seen my videos before, I uh, like to do things in the morning. Of course, I <laughs> I like to get to a couple minutes to wake up <clears throat> to do this. Uh, once I wake up, however, uh, I can sometimes get through. These arrangements are tough. I always uh, grade them one through five. Uh, one is the simplest, five is the most involved pieces. Again, this is all ad lib. Uh, this is around Christmas time, so I, I, I do the Christmas songs, needless to say, around that time. And uh, uh, rusty on most of them because, you know, I, I don't, uh, don't play them uh, uh, in the middle of the summer. Uh, I, uh, I'm here with my tripod and my telephone. <laughs> That's my recording studio. <laughs> so you're not getting the greatest here. Uh, I put it together as best I can uh, in front of the camera. And uh, so this is not really a recording studio and it's not an album. So uh, please don't expect uh, perfection. I'm lucky if I get through the piece. Um, if I... Uh, really pull everything out of the woodwork here and, and really do something pro, well, I suppose I'd be like a normal artist and get all the reverb and the echo and the, all the good stuff. This is not that. Uh, for you people that uh, play fairly well and need some ideas, this will probably work pretty well. I'm, uh, I'm still adjusting my uh, chair here so that gives you an idea where I'm at. <laughs> uh, song I chose this morning, uh, Christmas, uh, We Three Kings. Um, ancient song, again, you know how it goes, most of you. And uh, so let me just feel through the chords at first here, and then I'll play a little bit better version for you. Uh, I worked this out in the key of A minor. Uh, s some of you, if you can see it. You don't really have to, um, but it's more fun when you can see it happening right in front of you. Um, just to give you an idea. Now, that would be considered an intro, kind of a long one. And then we go into the verse. Uh, shortcut. Just reviewing the chords. got uh, the sh shortcut on the chords, just reviewing them in my head. Um, again, um, I can do two or three verses or a bridge or whatever. Uh, let me just uh, put together a version that I uh, just throw together. It'll sound kind of, kind of complete with a few errors, I suppose. Uh, okay, uh, I've got the capo on here, as you can see. Uh, I could use this capo anywhere. Some songs sound better up higher, um, some better uh, lower. Uh, I like to use the first fret because, uh, for one, I don't care what key I'm in. I want a key that sounds good and is easy to play. Uh, I'm playing my uh, Zager Easy Play. <laughs> um, now, the first fret is down here a ways, as you can see, uh, but um, um, I, I get used to a, a particular song in a particular area. The frets down here are further apart than the frets up here, and naturally, 
I get reflexed into playing it in that on that fret and in that key. And so uh, I like to get it well enough that it's just reflexed again. I've preached on reflex before. If I have to think where I'm going, I'm probably in trouble. Uh, get it uh, well enough that it's just reflexed in. It's like a chain link. And once I start that chain link, uh, I usually get through it. I do it the same every time. Uh, but again, uh, this is just a video. I, I'm kind of new to this. Uh, my hardest thing uh, usually is running this stupid camera. <laughs> it isn't the play in the song. But that's tip, uh, typical for uh, people in my age category. Little Johnny over here, seven years old, can do it twice as good as I can. <laughs> okay, uh, we three kings. Get my fingers going here. Get going here. I'm actually supposed to be there. together the ending I didn't know what I was going to do there uh, I like to do pieces like that uh, it's this is really kind of the inside scoop uh, again you're not seeing a finished product or anything like that but I have found we've had people uh, leave us uh, uh, some um, recommendations and whatever and they say well you know we like it off cuff and we like to see the the background of uh, what happens with any given artist. I practice like any other artist, I suppose. Uh, uh, some pieces I know better than others. Uh, this piece that I just played was a stage probably one or two as far as complexity. I run from a one to a five. Five are really difficult. They really have to be up, you know. I, I don't touch many of those until I'm really in shape different parts of the year, or how I am health-wise, or you know, where I am, kind of plays a role in it. Uh, but uh, uh, I, I always write them down. I, I'm on the first, uh, first fret, as you can see. Um, and uh, uh, that's where, where I'm comfortable with this particular song. And uh, 
if it's short, you know, it's a little bit, uh, quite a bit easier. Uh, if it's a really long one with my system here, full arrangements, uh, it can, there can be hundreds and hundreds of, you know, things that I have to remember. And so I always write them down. In this situation, it's actually in the key of, um, well, the formation of A minor. Uh, and I m mark down, uh, I'll, I'll say A minor, uh, the name of the song, A minor, and uh, this is first fret, so A minor one. And uh, I write them down in a book that way, and I can keep track of where I've been replaced. Uh, if, uh, if I was really researching this, I would, uh, I would play it down here. It's a lot different up here than it is, you know, way down here. Uh, but uh, uh, you say, well, how high can you go? <laughs> well, we can go to the sky. <laughs> and it isn't because uh, uh, it isn't because I I can't uh, play it anywhere. Uh, but uh, I like to uh, be in an area where the frets aren't too close together. Okay, this is a little too tight because I'm running up here. Uh, well, I even lost it. that it would come off better down here reach-wise. Uh, but as you can hear and see, that this is not enough room to work with the capo up that close. Uh, it sounds really weird up there too because it's so high. Now some, some pieces will sound really good, you know, uh, way up on the higher end. And the higher end for me is probably somewhere in here, maybe at the most. Um, It sounds different. Uh, you you call it uh, with both things in mind. In other words, uh, I don't care what key I'm in. I'm playing by myself. That's the beauty <laughs> of this whole thing. I'm not arguing as well. You know, I like it better in that key. And uh, with uh, the duo uh, Zeger and Evans way back in the Stone Ages, uh, <laughs> we used to argue which way what sounds best. And uh, when you're when you're working by yourself, uh, I've got the sniffles this morning. Uh, when you're working by yourself, you go where you want to go. And uh, uh, I like it here, and I'll write it down well. It'd be A minor, one, two, three, four, five, sixth fret. And that's that's where I write. I mean, I write it down so I know where I'm at. And next time I come back, I'll say. Well, last time I played up here, it was too tight. I'm not going to go there. Uh, it's too, there's not enough bass. Uh, things like that. So it does make a real difference. Uh, uh, again, keeping in mind, uh, when I do use the capo, that uh, uh, there's, uh, my Zager, you know, rework setup, it plays like a breeze if I add the capo. That adds still probably 10% more playing ease. Uh, with this capo on, well, I start out with the string sense, which was really low in the first place, 
and uh, then I clamp this thing on and well uh, maybe it's a little easier maybe I have a reach like this well naturally I'll, I'll work on this end of the neck up here maybe I have a, a, a reach of uh, four frets or so well four frets here isn't bad down here I have to stretch out to there so just common sense things and um, uh, uh, just getting a few ideas I'm just thinking out loud again here so uh, if I can breathe long enough <laughs> allergies never do me any good <laughs> um, not that not that they do anybody else <laughs> uh, but as you notice it's a it's a nice sound down here and the reach is good and uh, I've done it before and it felt good down here now when I'm working if, if I was working nightclub or something six nights a week totally uh, same thing but I write everything down but I rehearse everything I'm playing every well I as I used to six nights a week and uh, I stay in shape now I'm playing maybe a tenth of that uh, it makes such a difference with for an artist if you're working every day and get the fingers get in such good shape you, you just know it. it's it's like uh, walking it, it gets that simple now I'm struggling through so I don't have any mutes and rattles and just trying to remember the piece uh, any of you guitar players out there can identify you know uh, with this uh, this system naturally um, I'm, I'm not just uh, playing a few licks uh, or just a few chords I'm doing as you can hear you hear the whole song coming off which I which I call a full arrangement I'm thinking like a conductor actually in this situation and uh, what I do is I re uh, rehearse it enough that I get it totally reflexed in I just get on here and I say well capo on the first fret and uh, write down the name of the tune and uh, the first bars I link in and once I'm a hold of that chain it is a chain link and the whole song goes through and uh, I, I do a well when I'm performing on a regular basis uh, once I grab the end of that chain I just pull it on through and it's reflexed in meaning I know it subconsciously I don't have to consciously you know think it out the only thing that I need to know is I need to know where I've got the capo and uh, what key it's in get it linked in well I sit down like here uh, well whether I'm standing up I'm, a lot of you have asked well do you ever do this you know standing up not really uh, uh, it's too sophisticated if uh, if I was doing rock music or something like that you know I, I remember way back when uh, uh, we'd memorize it down to the T but naturally we were standing on stage uh, but this working as a single you know thing I, I used to a lot of you don't know this but I I studied voice like uh, uh, you know thinking that I'll do voice only uh, my my greatest uh, artist now for me probably would uh, would be a uh, uh, Andrea Bocelli something like that I I watch him work and it just hypnotizes me I I, I just have, have you know gotten so far into the voice I trained as much in some cases more the voice than I did the guitar so I'm uh, this guitar thing is has been kind of a sideline and it's difficult not to say that the voice isn't uh, uh, the Dame Nipo Tula Bay and up and down the scale and the breathing pronunciation vowel sounds all that uh, these people uh, the, in that category uh, opera to me is is the neatest you know uh, you you kind of in music it's just like anything else you keep graduating and graduating and graduating I used to just be a part in a four-piece group way 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 back when and uh, uh, now doing single things uh, if I would perform and get back into the business uh, God forbid at, the, at this age <laughs> um, I, I would probably do some instrumentals uh, 
Th this finger pattern stuff, it really works good as a full orchestra. This is my orchestra, and I sing, get it reflexed in again, down to the wire, play six nights a week, stay in shape. So, okay, well, uh, so much for uh, We Three Kings, <laughs> short as it may be. Uh, I just, uh, this off-the-cuff thing really works, and a lot of people like to hear it, so that's this is where I am. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, come and see me again. Thanks for coming.